Yo, Grandini. No, I'm just going to be grinning this entire episode. Oh my god. <laughs> Is it a huge kitty cat? <laughs> Fucking Grandini just swooped in and killed that shit, dude. Oh my god. <clears throat> Was that fucking Jura who just made that noise? He was like, oh! I don't know, like, I don't know what it is, but I can already tell in this episode that, like, the art is, like, stepped up. Like, it just, everything looks a little bit better from, like, the last couple episodes. Art-wise. It's Weiss Logia, or Vice Logia. Oh, I can't wait to see Skiadro, man. I want to see his design so bad. I was really hoping we would never ever see. Wait a sec. There's Skiadro. Uh, I was hoping we would never ever see the fucking Garu Knights ever again. <laughs> I was really hoping we weren't. Jesus Christ, Skiadrum looks so beast, man. I think that would be the dragon I would want to be, um, like, the adoptive son for. Because he just looks so badass. <laughs> Like I know I know they aren't dragon slay uh dragon slayers, but I don't know, it almost makes you wonder like what if um Loxus and um fucking Cobra if they had dragon if they were real dragon slayers, like what would their dragons look like? Like ah like I, I just wonder. Is just thinking about a lightning dragon, I think would look like the design for that, I think would be absolutely, absolutely sick. Damn. <clears throat> Why is he screaming right in front of his son? Um, so I did, I, I did do a live reaction for the episode last week, but like, for some reason, this other like second half of the episode of my reaction just wouldn't upload it. But like, um, when Grandine, like the reveal for Grandine last episode, um, like I was just like. I don't even know how to explain it, but, like, just something in my head felt, like, just clicked when I heard Grandine's voice for the first time, because it's, it's poorly Yushka's voice, and, like, I don't know why that just, I just never thought of that, and it makes so much sense, because obviously, they're, you know, poorly Yushka is Grandine from Edelis, um, so, of course, right, they would have the same voice, but I, I just never thought of it. Um, before I saw the episode, so as soon as I heard her talk, I was like, "Oh, that makes so much fucking sense." <laughs> yeah, I bet you no other YouTuber would freak out about something as small as that, but yeah, I would. Yeah, I'm, I'm weird like that. <laughs> Thank you.
Yeah, it's basically the end of a very, very great arc. Yeah, I, I had a I had a small problem with that in the in the manga, like as hype as it was, just showing all the dragons destroying all the faces and shit. Like it never showed them coming out of you know their respective dragon slayers. Um, aside from Natsu, so I was always like, uh, like just how did that happen? But whatever, <laughs> man, it was it was hype anyway, so. <clears throat> mm. Jackass. Hmm. You see what I mean? Like, the art and the animation, too, just, like, looks a lot better in this episode. I mean, they fucking spoiled it in the fucking uh, preview for last week, which I was very salty about. I was like, how could you spoil him coming in uh, at the end of this arc? Mm. Like, I remember when that happened in the manga, like, it it was the end of uh, chapter 413, I think. But, like, just when it happened, it was a total fucking shock. I mean, maybe not, like, a shock like it was impossible for Zareth to show up once again in this arc, but it was nonetheless a pretty big surprise for him to show up. <clears throat> Is this the first time that Grey has like seen Zareth?
down. You can tell, man, Vargir just absolutely worshipped the ground he walked on. That's fucking dedication, man. <clears throat> It's like almost 2 a.m., so I'm kind of tired. Hmm. I'm surprised Natsu's reckless uh, character didn't rush in there and try to get a hit on Zeref or something like that, you know? No, I gotta put I gotta put both my headphones in for this. I got to. Okay. Our negative legacy. <laughs> Fuck, man, that that yawn. That yawn just made me tear up and like, fuck. <clears throat> With my own claws. There you go, boy. There you go, Igneo. <laughs> Shit. <sighs> he took his arm too? Oh, not the music too, man. Shit. <laughs> uh, 
Oh, man. They are fucking killing me with this. Acting low, yo, come on. You don't have to do that, man. Fucking hell, man. I'm gonna pause it really quick, but the anime did, just did a fucking beautiful job of that, man. Like, the music was on point for that scene. Like, it couldn't have been any other song choice but that one. Um, and I just like how in the manga, I mean, this is one of the very few instances where flashbacks actually are a good thing. Um, because the manga, I remember, I remember it was just straight to it, like, Igneo got fucked up, and he went straight down, um, he was kind of saying the stuff how, you know, you taught me how to love, um, uh, humans, I think it was, um, there might have been, like, one flashback, let me see this preview really quick. So they are showing chapter 416 for the next episode. Interesting. Hmm. Damn. Ah, fuck, so many things are going through my head. Um, But basically, I think there was like, there was like maybe a couple panels of flashbacks in the manga, but um, just the anime, it's like like I said, it's that one instance where where you just keep putting in flashbacks where it actually works, it impacts the scene, um, and you as a viewer, especially for me, because there was always that thing people were saying like, oh, how could you feel bad for Igneo's death? Um, we didn't even spend that much time for him, but like, come on, man, like especially after those little things, just, like, seeing Natsu kind of, like, cuddle up against his dad like that, man, like, how could you not shed one thug tear? One thug tear for that, man, like, <sighs> shit. And then, like, his voice actor at the end just yelling Igneo just gives me, gives me chills. Um, fuck, man, besides that, um, fucking great episode, man, for sure. Um, 
I was surprised to see in the in the preview that um that they are gonna cover chapter four sixteen, which is like the last chapter in the Tartarus arc. Um I mean I was only surprised in it because it's such a long chapter, like content wise, so many things happen in that chapter. Um I just really hope they don't rush it, that they don't cut anything out because I felt I felt like Everything that happens in that chapter is very important to set up what's what's to come next. Um, yeah, so I, I, I really hope they don't cut out anything or rush anything because a lot of things happen in that one chapter. Um, it worries me a bit because they also have to cover um, chapter 415, which is like <clears throat> Natsu's whole reaction. And fucking, they, they also showed it in the, in the preview sorry um happy's like happy crying when he sees natsu natsu's kind of reaction to igneo when i read that when i saw that in the in the manga that really hit me hard just seeing uh, happy's face um just seeing happy's face um it really kind of like disappointed me that this isn't really a spoiler but and who knows, they might actually show it in the episode next week. But it really bummed me out that we didn't get to see anyone else's reaction to um, Igneo's fucking death. Like, it was really just Natsu and Happy and maybe Lucy. I'm not sure. But it was definitely just those two. And I was like, we don't see, we're not going to see, like, how Grey, like, sees this or Urza or uh, Lucy or Wendy or the other Dragon Slayers, like, I'm so interested, like, what is their reaction to that? Because I would think that would hit them especially hard because, you know, they also have fucking dragon parents just like Natsu. So I, 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 would, I was really dis- disappointed that they didn't show that in the manga. So hopefully, I don't know, they show a couple more people's reactions to Igneo's death. Um, but yeah, in the manga seeing happy react the way he did just him bawling out and his his like face kind of like um just like squirming a little bit that that killed me i i didn't i wasn't crying but i was fucking depressed seeing that um yeah that's that's my live reaction um i knew i knew this day was gonna come and I fucking feel sad as hell, man. Um, but we move on. It's gonna get fucking hype from this. Um, fucking Tartarus, man. Tartarus is such a great fucking art. Huge monumental art in fairy tale. And um, yeah, I mean, next week is last last episode in Tartarus, so. Um, Thank you, fucking Hiro Mashima, for such a great fucking arc, man. It was truly probably my top two arcs in all of Fairy Tale. Like, looking back at it, man, it was a fucking arc to remember. Um, so, yeah, uh, <laughs> that's my live reaction. Thank you for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, all that stuff. Um, really appreciate it. Um, If you liked the episode too, comment what you guys thought about it, um, all that stuff, the usual, you know. Um, So peace. I'm just rambling right now, but uh, peace.